the media is a very important part of our democracy. And there is no way that the country is going to um, use to stifle the media. Um, we believe that something as important as an election, the media needs to be out to ensure that they report accurately to their viewers, as well as to act as a check and balance to ensure that there is nothing unscrupulous being done by anyone within the, um, during the election process. What we seek to do through the um, curfew is to ensure that after voting is over, that people can go home and await the results of the election. And uh, let's say hypothetically that come eight o'clock, there is still lines of people waiting to vote. Because again, we must contemplate that the election process this year is going to take longer due to the COVID precautionary measures. So let's say that come eight, there are still lines at some polling stations. For sure, those persons in those lines must be allowed to vote. They will remain in the line until everybody in the line have cast their vote. And uh, after they have done so, even though we would be within the curfew hour, hour or hours, those persons must be allowed to go home unimpeded by the police, so long as it is that they're coming from voting. And so I, I do not want um, our people to believe that the curfew is going to affect the voting process in any way, shape, or form. After the voting okay. is over and the counting is over and uh, the victory is announced, or whenever any political party crosses that seat threshold, persons may want to come out and celebrate, and they may want to do so in large numbers. And so what the curfew <laughs> is to ensure that people are not allowed to come out in large numbers to celebrate after the um, results of the elections have been, has been announced. And so that is the sole purpose of the um, curfew and uh, nothing more.